That's while federal authorities say he's in the U.S. illegally and has re-entered multiple times. I'm going to call Carlos Nava. Carlos Nava here for his case dating back to July. Metro police say he sexually assaulted and kidnapped a woman he was buying sex from. Turns out Nava's now accused of four additional sexual assaults, one of them a cold case from 2003. Mr. Nava now essentially might have as much as five active sexual assaults, and all of these sexual assaults involve an individual who was working as a prostitute at that time. Prosecutor William Rawls says Nava's DNA matches those cases. The 8 News Now investigators learned those crimes are alleged to have happened while he was in the U.S. illegally. According to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, he's re-entered at least eight times since 2002. This is an email from an ICE spokesperson describing Nava's history. You can see how long it is. Nava's been discovered by law enforcement in California, Arizona, and Las Vegas. Arrests include charges for battery and domestic violence. The last known time Nava was in the U.S. and then removed in 2020. After his arrest last July, records show Judge Daniel Westmeyer granted bail. Nava was placed on electronic monitoring and was able to walk out of jail. That's while police said they were looking for more victims. What we have before this court is an individual who has sexually assaulted members of our community since 2003. Nava learning about the new allegations against him through an interpreter. The victim in the initial case, a no-show. This is a vulnerable member of our community, and individuals prey on these types of people, knowing that they might likely not show up to court given their line of work. Because there are more alleged victims, including one under the age of 16 years old, police in plain clothes were standing by, ready to take Nava into custody again. He is going into custody on this Did you commit these assaults? Did you rape these women? Did you rape these... The judge saying if the victim in that first case doesn't show up here in court to testify, that case will be dismissed. Reporting in downtown Las Vegas at the Regional Justice Center, Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now.